Yo, what's up, dudes? Hey, this is Johnny Bean. This is exclusively Van Halen, the Van Halen show on YouTube, on Twitch, on Facebook. Tuesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific. And we do giveaways, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and hang out with us for, for a little while, and maybe you'll win something Van Halen related. It's pretty cool. So let's do this. This is exclusively Van Halen. It is April 2nd. This is not a joke. <laughs> Van Halen. Died. That was yesterday. Yesterday was joke day. It is 8.03 p.m. Eastern, 5.03 Pacific. All right, uh, here we go. Hey, this is Michael Anthony right here, and you are watching exclusively Van Halen on the Johnny Bean TV. Keep it there. Woo! See ya! Yo, what's up? Rain, thunder, lightning, tornadoes, oh my gosh. river, creeks are flooded, streets are flooded. Oh my god. Town gosh. next to me, the base or football field's already underwater. Dang. <clears throat> well, hey, anybody that's watching from where are you? Ohio? What Ohio. Shady side, Ohio. Shady Somewhat side of Okay. So if anybody's watching from, from that area, stay safe. Hope everything is good. Yeah, that's crazy to think, man. Because here it's sunny, it's nice, it's it's all that. And watch tomorrow; it'll be like thunderstorming here, and, and <laughs> that and terrible. <laughs> but hey, yeah. Hope hope everything hope everything is cool. Thank you. Yes, guy, it's coming your way. Oh man, dudes, you know what else is coming your way? Van Halen. <laughs> Exclusively Van Halen, that's right, but also channel memberships <laughs> here on Johnny Bean YouTube channel. Channel membership is a great way to help support the channel and support these shows. The top tier are the executive producers, and they are currently Sherman Callahan, CC, Nova 9, Michael Smith, Music Therapy Laz, nice. R Habs, R Habs, War Lag, Fairfield Guitar Co. Maybe I should talk slower. Majestic PB and J Cat and Janice Lala, the intern. There you are. Yo, channel membership. It's, it, it really is a great way to support the channel and support these shows because it's not free doing this stuff. It really isn't. But if you'd like to help us out, and actually that reminds me, this month uh, for April, I'm doing this, this thing called VEDA, Vlog Every Day in April. I'm doing them exclusively for channel members. So if you're a channel member, you get... Well, I mean, I do videos almost every day anyway, but you get bonus, bonus content. Like I did a video earlier today. I was running some errands, did a video yesterday, talked, who did I talk to? Who, some people, some people had jumped in. Uh, I think Michael B had jumped in, I was talking to him. Uh, but uh, anyway, awesome, awesome stuff. So yeah, so you guys, if you guys are brand new here, I'm Johnny Bean, this is Ron Gunner. This is The Van Halen Show on YouTube, on Twitch. I mean, listen, to, I mean, Michael Anthony just told you. He said, right. keep it. He said, keep it here. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So help us. I can't help do us. that anymore. <laughs> oh, no. Well, dude. Help us get to 12K YouTube subscribers. You know, that, that would be cool. But hey, we're also live on Facebook. 
Johnny Bean Facebook page. We got Facebook stars you can help support over there. We got uh, exclusively Van Halen group, 63,000 members. EVH Gear Fans Live group at three th over 3,000 members. Johnny Bean TV group, over 1,000 members. We're live on Twitch. This is a podcast on Spotify. We are on X. So if you'd like to contact us on X, you can get a hold of us. And pretty much everywhere there is, X makes a point S in the chat, uh, please. That'll give you guys all our different uh, pages. It's pretty good. And then if you want to get some gear, affiliate links down below to Sweetwater and Amazon. So, so check that out. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. So let's see. And by the way, we do giveaways on the show here. We have a, we have a few things. Uh, we'll let you guys choose in the chat. Okay. Everybody some... wants everybody wants MPN's Jen. Jim. Uh huh. Peggy won it <laughs> last. He never did uh, send it to her. Oh no. <laughs> well, one of the MPN. He's in the chat. I see him. There you go. There he is. So yes, we've got some Van Halen 45s here. If you would like to uh, win one of these tonight, that's possible. We have Van Halen's Al Wait. We have uh, Love Walks In. And what else do we have? We have Pretty Woman. These are actual official vinyls. Remember what those are? You know? So maybe we'll give one of those away tonight uh, for future giveaways. We've got these awesome uh, live CDs that I found. Found them in a drawer down there. <laughs> totally didn't know that I even had them. But like I said, they're actual, actual CDs. You know, they're not CDRs. They're not, you know, reprints or, or whatever. But we've got a bunch of these to give away on a, a future show. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and possibly uh possibly win one of these it's pretty good but we'll do one of the 45s tonight i think so and uh there you are yeah if you guys see the roof like start to flutter and i just go away <laughs> been nice knowing you well that's kind of what happens around here ron <laughs> What people get sucked out by tornadoes? <laughs> well, that's what that's what it seems like. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I, hey. I won't I won't be going out via tornado to start my own channel. <laughs> well, they say that too. So, Skyprop, what's up, man? Let's see, lights go out. Oh no! Wait, Skyprop, isn't he local to you? He's about fifty minutes away. It's everything we're getting is coming his way. Oh no! So Skyprop, maybe the lights did go out. And and Skyprop was at Guitar Center today and got the scoop on that Fender. Oh, with the, with the whammy neck. If you guys watched us on uh, Saturday night, right? Yeah. Saturday, Saturday night. Yep. Uh, Ron had been to it, the, his local Guitar Center and he sent us some footage, and he showed us a guitar that was pretty banged up, and they were Scratch still selling it. Very strange. Very yeah. Very strange that they would even have that on the on the rack. But uh, so Sky Props, you saw that man. That's yeah, he was there today. Oh, you were there, man. He was there. He was Phil, there. Phil was there, dude. Yeah, I totally forgot where that came from. <laughs> uh, Phil Collins in the Beatles movie. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, oh my gosh. When Mark's gas station. Mark's gas station is here. We got Greasy Monkey Guitars. He's here. He's talking to Dan Gorman. So Dan Gorman is here. Skyprop is here. He says, Johnny, I'll send you the video early Friday. If it uh, show. What? Or oh, for the Friday show. 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 <laughs> right on. <laughs> Ryan Hall, what's up, dude? Ryan was a recent uh, big winner on the channel here, and I sent out your uh, your winnings today. So so look for that, man. Congratulations, dude. Ooh. Congratulations. 
Let's see. Dakota is here, and he's given us the Spotify command. Thank you so much. Yeah, Johnny Bean Podcast. You can listen to these shows on Spotify. And watch them. And what? Well, I haven't been uploading them lately. Oh, I, should well. probably, I should start doing that. You can watch one of them. <laughs> well, you can, there's several. There's, there's okay. a bunch of them that are there. I just haven't been doing the, the video portion of it uh, probably for a month, maybe longer. I don't know. I don't know. Chris King on Facebook. Good to see you. MPN is here. What's up, dude? He, he's active over on X. I replied. MPN, I, I replied to you on X and you deleted the tweet. <laughs> right on. He's mad because we're giving away his gem. Oh, well, one of these guys. You got gear. Do you talk about Van Halen? We do. We do talk about Sometimes. we do talk about Van Halen, yeah, especially Tuesdays. I mean, we call this uh, the Van Halen OU81 Tuesday. So if you do like your Van Halen, this is the place. This is the place you want to be Tuesdays. We do almost a daily show here. Like yesterday, I was live at a guitar center. Tomorrow, uh, oh, I'll be on our friend uh, Music Therapy Laz's uh, program tomorrow night. Yep. Thursday. What do we do? We do something. Uh, we need to do the Randy Road Show on Thursday. Maybe we'll do. If you're still around, if you're still around <laughs> Thursday, maybe we'll do some sort of Randy Rhodes thing. Actually, Janice, Janice, can you send me a? a can you tag us both on on X saying, "Hey, do a Randy Rhodes Show on Thursday," and we'll do it. We'll Thank do you, that. Janice. We will definitely definitely do that and i've been actually i've been tagging you in a bunch of stuff i see you noticed over, yeah. over on x there's yeah. been like some yep. some uh randy rhodes uh related yep. stuff and you know of course the van halen randy rhodes related stuff so yeah let's see okay all right all right well, let's get let's get to it you guys here we go <laughs> i think did i forget anything i'm i feel like i forget stuff uh we did channel membership we got super chats you guys totally forgot yeah, about it. we got if you like to help support more. the channel we got what are called super chats where's the thing yeah everything every time we, we do it every time i switch all this stuff around <laughs> and it's kind of it's, it's like a tornado blows through here <laughs> i know that's not funny but you know well <laughs> it isn't until until i get taken away by one <laughs> I don't like tornado drills. I, I used to live in Nebraska. So that's like, I think all that worst, all the worst weather tornadoes are, is in the Midwest. And I, I was, I was there for, for a little while. Uh, when I Ryan, was yes, five. Thursday. Janice just tweeted us. That means it's happening Thursday. Oh, right on. Okay. So we'll do a Randy Rose show. That means you got a host. Can that's you host fine. a show? That's fine. Okay. So was, you got to walk me through it, but yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, cool, cool. I'll I'll be, I'll be co-host on Thursday. We'll do a, a Randy Rhodes, Randy Rhodes show. And that I'm sounds hoping, good. I'm hoping Saturday I'll be in the new studio. I'm hoping. Well, you just I, have to get up and walk across the room. Well, I got to get everything. I got to finish it first to get everything in there. <laughs> I mean, I may have stuff in. I, well, I'm going to have to buy some more soundproofing. Mm-hmm. Because I was going to do one wall in the pallet wood, and I decided just to soundproof the whole the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So I got to order some more of those tiles. Cool, Janice. Can you can you tweet us and remind him that he needs to order tiles? Soundproof tiles, black and orange. Sound soundproof tiles. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Janice. Yeah, she's the greatest. She's Janice, the greatest. Janice, Janice, Janice is awesome. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, what was I saying? Super chats. Super chats changes the color of my lights, you guys. If you look behind me here, this is called the Guitar Moir, and it's it's a pretty cool. It's it's actually it's 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 magic is is really what it is. These lights you can change in real time with a super chat. That's uh, donations support towards the channel, towards these shows. And you know we got guitars here. We got future giveaway. Actually, some of these guitars were actually given away at some point. Some we got magazines. We got different different things here. So if you'd like to help support the channel, you can change these lights in real time. Get our attention. Uh, 
And then what else? I'm thinking there's something else. Well, subs obviously subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 12K subscribers. Uh, how many more you need? Seriously? Yeah, it can't be that um, many. Can. Seriously, probably about 400. We're about 400 away from 12K. And it goes by pretty quick. Cool. We got we got a people, lot of tell people your here. friends. Tell Start a burner account. Friends. Subscribe also. Because I have no friends. I can't tell. I'm telling you guys. All my friends left. Alan Garber is here though. Alan's my friend. Alan's on Facebook. Good to see you, Alan. Alan congratulations, man. He's in that magazine, man. Alan Garber's name cool. is in that new guitar world, actually. That's cool. Except Alan, is it misspelled? Let me see. I think Alan's name is in here, right? Let's see. Was it under the Van? Is it the Van Halen one or the or the uh, or the other article or the or the Stevie Ray Vaughan? Let's see. Let's see. He'll he'll answer us in a second. I think I think he's in here. I think I saw. I think I saw that. I think so. But either way, another future giveaway on the channel here. This uh, this magazine. So we'll we'll either do one of these tonight or we'll do one of these forty fives tonight. Your choice, somebody's choice. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. Okay. Well, hey, yeah. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, you guys. Van Halen News Desk. We kind we kind of talked about this the other day last week but uh i think uh i think we'll talk about it again because this this is pretty cool you guys check this out oh we got <clears throat> on it there we go introducing van halen the collection why is that frozen okay there we go the collection seven 1978 to 1984 six lp exclusive limited edition box set look at that now I think these were released a uh, year ago to actually Alan would know Alan when when were these released when when did these come out I don't these aren't totally brand new I don't think but Van Halen uh, store has has some of these available and this is the exclusive edition that has like the the backstage passes the repros of those actually if we keep reading here it'll say if my laptop actually worked some of us have the original oh yeah i have one of those too <laughs> if we can if we could just get the delorean running so we can go back to 1984 <laughs> we'll have a blast dude everything i'm seeing on 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 x everything is about well, this magazine here class of 19 everything's about 1984 because we're at 40 years yep you know so there's a lot of stuff happening lately about about 19 about 1984 hey the axe i see you hey uh scott i see you over on twitch good to see you man so van halen's the collection 1978 to 1984 is a vinyl box set that showcases the band's early years and first incarnation featuring singer david lee roth guitarist eddie van halen drummer alex van halen and bassist michael anthony the set includes remastered versions of their first six studio albums you guys everybody everybody name them off along with us van halen van halen 2 women children first which we uh celebrated last uh, tuesday diver down fair warning that's and i what's forgot the last one? diver down hmm. <laughs> oh 1984 and then we had <laughs> yeah <laughs> actually yeah oh dude let's see uh where are we uh mastered uh, directly from the original master tapes by chris bellman 
I think it's how you pronounce his last name, in 2015. Okay, yeah, so these go back uh, a little ways. The, uh, the box set is vinyl only. There will not be a CD box set of these albums. Okay, wait, are these brand new? Maybe this is brand new. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe, maybe, maybe these are new. I don't I, know. Why would they not do CDs? I mean, they did CDs with the other one, right? Yes. Okay. They did. I don't know. Somebody drop a comment below. If, if you guys know. I mean, we'll keep scrolling through here. I, I mean, I, I had heard that these... Maybe it's the exclu- maybe this version of this is newer. Like the exclusive limited edition is is because see it's saying here the exclusive limited edition version of this set is now available at Van Halen store. So there was saying al- albums come with reissue of the original albums in their sleeves. Yeah, yeah. So there was there was a Walmart. There was a Walmart box set. I've actually held one of these. I saw one at the record store, but like a year ago. But it it wasn't this. It wasn't this uh, limited edition. If it was, I, I would have I would have bought it <laughs> and then given it away to to Patty. <laughs> <laughs> what you need to do is just quit buying it and just give the money away. <laughs> <laughs> wow well, when, when, when I'm a game show host when I have that spinning wheel behind me <laughs> that's when when I've officially become a game show host and and you know maybe we'll start doing cash prizes then but in the meantime you guys we're struggling here <laughs> so so we need you guys to, to definitely you know help us out with the channel um Let's see. The, the exclusive limited edition version of this set is now available at Van Halen Store. Each LP comes with its own collectible laminated backstage pass replica. Okay. Okay. And it says Women, Children First uh, comes with the large fold-out poster of David Lee Roth. Is that the one where just, he's chained to the fence? Yeah, just like the poster that was from the first pressing back in 1980. <laughs> My so, wife had that in her bedroom for the longest time. <laughs> When you were married or before? No, no, before. Because <laughs> my wife won't, won't let me have that in the bedroom now. <laughs> that poster. Because I, I have like 20 of those posters, and she won't let me put it up in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask why. <laughs> we'll be giving those away at some point, you guys. If I can find them, I have them. Because that's the thing, is the poster, the poster, and actually, can I show you guys? I might be able to show you guys uh, what the poster looks like. Uh, I just saw one actually on on Twitter. Somebody had just posted one recently. I'll show you. Here it is. Right here. I just saw you know, I just saw this on Twitter last week, twenty sixth. I saw this. Oh, it must have been last week. It must have been when we were celebrating the album. That's yep. what the poster looks like. Right there. Okay. That's from Kells. Kells on Twitter. Oh, Kelsey Van Halen. There we go. So that that's what the original poster looks like. I know it's blurry. Oh, there it is. There you go. Thank you, Keith. Keith, dude, thank you so much, man. I own 20 of those posters. Just changed. I own 20 of them. Um, because years ago when those, um, uh, anyway, I used to, anyway, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm multitasking here. I'm trying to do like, <laughs> like five things at once. I'm, I'm trying here. I, I actually, I have to manually do this. Because the super stickers don't automatically uh, do the lights, unfortunately. There we go. But Keith, thank you so much, man. Keith H. Thank you for the five and the super sticker of the of the of the fox laughing. Very nice. Uh. Anyway, why do I have twenty of them? I will answer that question now. That's what I was trying to say. Uh. F- 
I used to be a huge Van Halen uh, uh, memorabilia collector. I mean, I, I, I still am. I mean, now it's more like virtually, you know, I do the show now. I do these shows. I, I used to buy everything back in the day. And and uh, every time I would find one of the Women Children First vinyls that had the, that had the poster, I would buy it because I knew there was only one pressing of that poster. And sure, there could be... I think David Lee Roth did say uh, one time that there's a million of those out there, which I know that is a lot, but still in the in the grand, you know, total of that album, yeah, yeah, it's not a lot. No, that's not a lot. If you think worldwide, no, no, it's not because when I first bought that album, which actually I have, I have one back here actually. When I first bought it, there we go. Actually, I've got the tour book too. I was going to give this away at some point. So you guys subscribe to the channel and you, you might, uh, you might win this stuff. So here's like one of the albums here. This one does not have it. This one just has this, right? So when I first bought this on vinyl, originally it did not have the poster. So, but out here in the Bay area, we have a shop called Amoeba music, which is like a, like for us out here in the Bay Area, vinyl never went away. You know, so every time I would find it back in the late '90s, throughout the 2000s ish, if I would find the vinyl used with the poster, I would buy it. Just I would just sit on it because I knew, eventually, people would want them. And and it's like oh, someday I'll do a, a talk show on something called YouTube on something called the internet, and and uh, <laughs> I'll give them away as prizes. Some bot. Yeah. Yeah. So that's sounds like that sounds like you was remote viewing. Yeah. <laughs> so so that's why I have 20 of those posters. But the thing is, I need to find them. <laughs> they're here. They are here. They're here somewhere. They're they're not in the in the studio here. They're like there's like a uh garage they might be in the garage janice can you send me an x telling me to find some of those posters some of those vinyls and we will we will give one away maybe next week okay that'll be cool that'll be that'll be good so here let's let's keep reading before my laptop crashes <laughs> because the, the the fan is like super loud all of a sudden Let's see. Uh, the other five LPs come with the reissues of the original album's inner sleeves, which are very cool. The coolest one in the chat. Anybody in the chat that's a Van Halen vinyl? Do you guys? Can you guys tell me in the chat what the coolest Van Halen inner sleeve vinyl was? Do you guys? Can somebody tell me? Thank you, Janice. Well, do you know, Ron? Do you, do you have any idea? Mm -mm. Let's see if anybody says real quick here. I know there's a delay when when we do this. There's at least a thirty second delay. Okay, Michael's saying probably too. Chris King, Chris King, you got it. Diver down. The diver down. Forty grit is saying Van Halen too. Uh, they, I mean, the, the Van Halen two has some awesome photos on it, but diver down is definitely the coolest one. Beca there you go, Chris. <laughs> He's like, yeah, <laughs> if I had one here, I would show it to you, but I've given them all. I've given a lot of them away <laughs> over the last couple of years that, yeah, yeah uh, uh, this show for about a year. Every giveaway was vinyl. Cool. I used to have stacks and stacks and stacks of Van Halen vinyl, original stuff. And for about a year, I, I gave them all away. Well, not all of them. I still have a bunch, but but I gave a lot of them away. I mean, how many Tuesdays are in a year? 52. 52. So I gave away 52 vinyls. Cool. In one year. Anyway, the Diver Down one is super cool. And really quickly here, I'll show you guys 
what that looks like. It basically has diver down Van Halen sleeve insert. Yeah, the, the funny part of that poster is, is my wife, uh, she had that in her room, but her dad is a pastor. He wanted her to take it down, so she actually had a cover over it <laughs> uh-huh. that, she, that she could pull a cord and it would fall, cover it real quick if she heard him coming up the steps. okay check this out here's here's the diver down but first they're telling me here's an ad there we go i'm (laughs) manually running them now because it's telling me it's telling me to do it okay this is this is the diver down insert so it's like a collage of all these photos from the 81 fair warning tour Hey, look, Mike, Mike was wearing your, your shirt and your newspaper shirt. Yeah. Then so is Eddie, right? Two pictures over from it. Yeah. Well, Alex. No, no, no. Yeah. Right above that. Right above Alex. Look. Isn't Eddie wearing that shirt right above that? Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so that's the di- that's the diver down insert very cool i mean you got like a photo of like eddie playing roth's guitar backstage roth's acoustic mm. see that's pretty cool just has a lot of like really cool photos is there a picture of david playing eddie's guitar not on this but those do exist do they yeah yeah uh, if i could if i could find one i, I would show you or if anybody wants to text one in, 415-952-3263 is the number. Yeah, text in a photo of Roth playing uh, one of Van Halen's guitars. There's at least one, two, there's at least three or four that I can think of. So, okay, let's see. Um, like most box sets, boxed sets these days, this was a one-time run, so it's already out of production. Okay, so these came out a while ago. They are, they're out of production. Van Halen Store has some of these available. That's what's going on. So here's your chance to get it before it's gone. Here is... Uh, here's... Uh, here, we'll do that. Exclusive limited edition uh, version. Six LPs remastered on... 180 gram vinyl backstage pass for each album and tour original inner sleeves david lee roth fold out poster that's the poster we were just talking about that uh i can't have in my bedroom <laughs> the Out bigger of production. question is why you would want it in your bedroom <laughs> well that's the joke yeah, yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I used to have Steve Barton, dude. I had many striped shirts back in the eighties because of Van Halen. Same here. Steve Barton, thank you so much, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you for your your support, man. There we go. Thank you very much. The lights did change. The thing is, I have I have uh, an Elgato uh, LED light on, so you can't you can't. Hell. That's that blinding white light. Yeah. <laughs> Here. Hang on. Wait, your aud- your your audio, your yeah. interface is gonna come see flying what? at you and hit you. See what? There, see. The master of LEDs. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. I had this I've Elgato gave me this when I was you guys, when I was at TwitchCon, exclamation point. Uh, Twitch in the chat, maybe. They gave me this really cool uh, Elgato logo. It's it's a company. It's it's a, one of the companies I used to do all this all these shows. It's a really cool sign of their of their logo, and it's it's pretty cool. But I had it plugged in, and then of course when I have it plugged in, it's, it's as bright it's like, as the sun. It's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Steve Barton, thank you so much, man. Thank you, Steve. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Uh, okay, so the, yeah, there's there's the box set right there. 
and then there's there's the albums and then the cool thing one of the cool things is it has reproductions of the passes from each tour so you got you got 78 world tour you got van halen uh world vacation 79 you got 80 you got uh diver down 82 you got uh fair warning and then you have uh, van halen all access 84 uh so very very cool stuff yo what's up clint i thought the very best stage setup was for the fair warning oh the fair warning backdrops yeah those are cool though i think those actually changed during the show yeah those are awesome internationally insane studios what's up man hope everything is cool 40 grit what's going on man 40 grit we miss you man when are you gonna come back send me a message let's see michael says uh i think i wore out my diver down insert yeah it was a, it was a cool i mean I, sh I just showed you guys a photo of it. it 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 is cool and I've I've given away a bunch I've given away a bunch of them already given away. Oh, there we go. There we go. So you got the first album there on the left, and there was actually a couple different versions of that. There was a black and white version and a color version. That's the that one in the middle. That's the Van Halen two. That's the one that they were talking about. And those are all uh, photographs taken by. Hey folks, Niels Lozauer here. Check out my good friend Johnny Bean TV. Awesome, thank you so much. But let me do one more. Where is it? We're good Facebook friends. Where, where, okay, wait, where is it though? The Johnny Bean TV. It's YouTube, Facebook, okay. uh, Twitter. It's okay, let's do one more. Okay. It's everywhere. And hey Twitch. folks, Niels Lozauer here. Check out Johnny Bean TV on Facebook and YouTube. You'll enjoy it. Niels Lozauer. He really he really took the, the best photos of Van Halen. I mean, all those tours. Neil has some awesome books. And you can get them at Van Halen Store. Go to Van Halen Store. You guys can check those out. Let's see. So that middle one is the Van Halen 2. The one next to that is the other side of the Diver Down. I showed you the photo with all the collages. That's mm -hmm. the flip side of it there on the right with, with Eddie and Dave. And then down below there, you got 1984. You got the poster there, as you can see. And then you got the fair warning. Oh, dude, there we go. Ah, oh, those are so cool. Look at that. Now again, these are reprints, but uh actual original ones do exist mm -hmm. they are out there you know i've got i've got a couple i've got a couple few let me see i'll show you I'll i show just you. have the I've one a couple of them. i just I have the one I only I could only find this one here. I've got one of these. That's a South America '83. Cool. Maybe we'll give this away on the on the channel here. Hmm. Must be subscribed. <laughs> you must tell your friends. Don't tell my friends. Tell your friends. And everybody in the chat, start an extra account or two and sign up that way too. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I'm so, signed up here and I'm signed up under fretwork, so <laughs> two for one. Two for one. We got to do two for ones around here. <laughs> yeah. 
So look at that, man. That 1980 one's cool. Houston, August 28th, 1980. And again, these are reprints, but still very cool. Uh, you got the uh, the Van Halen Fair Warning, Fair Warning, the, w, the WDFA, which in the chat, what does that stand for? WDFA. What what was that? That was a slogan for that tour. In the chat, let us know. Well, I know what it is. I want to see if you guys know. Uh, seventy eight World Tour Backstage Pass, Van Halen, March third, seventy eight, Chicago. That's my kind of town. Yeah. <laughs> my kind of town. Was that on that duets? Uh, no, I, I don't think. Wait a minute. Nope. For once in my life, come fly with me. Bewitched, the best is yet to come. Moonlight in Vermont, fly me to the moon. Luck be the lady, a foggy day. Where or when, embraceable you, Mac the knife. How do we keep the music playing, my funny Valentine? Oh, wait. Yeah, it is. My kind of town. It is. That's the one oh. with Frank Jr. singing, too. Oh, in the cool. house I live in. We're talking about duets, too, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, the Sinatra. Sinatra did duets, too. Yeah, we don't F around. That That's, yep. That's what it stood for. We don't F around. They, we don't, they don't fool around? <laughs> Flounder around. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that that one's similar to the one I just had. That one, yeah. So that's that's a similar one, backstage. But that's eighty two. This is eighty three. Diver down did a South American leg. That's where all those pro shot videos are from. <laughs> all the Van Halen pro shot shows, where he's playing what's called the the what's known as the Kramer ad guitar. Because it was it was first seen in the advertisements for Kramer when Edward joined up with Kramer Guitars. Uh yeah, Dwight. Yeah, Dwight Bailey, what's up, dude? Why'd you just shoot him? <laughs> because truthfully, he is known as the Hitman. That's his, ah. his, that's his. He's known as Dwight the Hitman Bailey. So that that's that's why. Okay, all right, Dwight, you need to get on Call of Duty. <laughs> I challenge you. <laughs> <laughs> You're still trying to challenge me to get over there, and I I can't. I've I've tried. Yeah, but I one got of six, the, I got a six point oh rating. One of these days, I I will be over there. One of these days. Oh wait, there's more. Oh oh, these are the other side. Oh, these are double sided. No way. Cool. Cool. So obviously these show you that the reprints, because because those back in the day would not. Well, first of all, backstage pa a pass is not double sided because you got to take you got to stick it yeah. you know to your shirt. So this this proves that they're collectibles and that they're reprints. So, and and they explain each album on there it has the album has the year. Oh, these are awesome. See, mine was never used. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, mine was never used either. Actually, I need to I need to laminate this and put it on the lanyard. Yeah. With all the rest of them. And you can go walking around Guitar Center with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and look at broken neck guitar or the the, the acoustic whammy necks. <laughs> you saw I was there? I was there yesterday. Yeah. I, yeah, I saw that. And that, uh, uh, that was nice how you helped that guy. That couple, they they were yeah. going to go in there and they wanted to get parts for that old K acoustic. Yeah. And I was telling them, well, I mean, you're probably not going to get correct parts yeah. for that here. And don't bother asking them for the parts because they, they'll have no idea. <laughs> I hate to I hate to say it. Well, it's true. It's the truth. But They're, they would you know. say, no, but you know what? You could trade that in on this whammy neck fender. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I I, get, I gave him some some tips like, hey, you know, there's I know another shop that knows a shop I used to work at in Berkeley called Subway definitely knows exactly what that guitar is, and what what I didn't tell them what I probably should have told them, um, 
that if they did go up to to the guitar shop I used to work at, and if they were looking for those tuners, because there's a broken tuner on that guitar. And I know most of you guys have no idea what we're talking about. I was at Guitar Center yesterday. Go back one video on the channel. You'll you'll see the video and you'll see exactly what we're what we're talking about. I do these guitar vlogs uh, a lot of a lot of times. Anyway, if they were to go up to the shop in Berkeley and say they were looking for those tuners, the shop would probably give them the tuners for free. They would because when I worked there, that's how it worked. Because they had boxes and boxes of those tuners, those old uh, acoustic and classical style three by threes, those tuners. Well, they may have given them all away by now. I don't think so. No, no. <laughs> they, literally, they, they'd have thousands of them. Thousands, thousands. Yeah. Well, so. I, I liked how you helped them. I mean, that, that was nice. Oh. Good on you, Johnny. Good on you. Thank you. Well, hey, I'll play the, the, the applause. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I, 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 I got to go, man. The colonel's calling. <laughs> We're going to get some chicken. Oh, peanut yeah. butter and banana sandwiches <laughs> toasted i'm having some beef brisket tonight man it's like the you greatest need, freaking thing ever you need to have fried <laughs> peanut butter and yeah no you need to have fried peanut butter and banana sandwich you know i think i've tried that i'd be scared to death of that now <laughs> but I've probably tried. Man, maybe that's, on a that's Saturday. That's a meal fit for the king, man. Maybe on a Saturday. You guys that are brand new here, we do shows on Saturday nights. We call it Straturday night. And I don't have a card for it. I don't know why. Oh, because we, we do giveaways. And every time we do a show, that card is useless because it has that week's giveaway on it. And I have to make a new one. Anyway, you guys join us Saturday nights. We have a great time. And maybe we'll do a show where we make some crazy food. Yeah, that's what do you all think? right with the mama, man. That sounds good. Colonel, okay. Colonel, get a new Cadillac, man. Okay. All right, we'll try. We'll try that. We'll you try know, it. you know, Priscilla was only fifteen when I brought her over here, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, how old was she when he kicked her out? Uh, like twenty-one, man. Oh. I mean, come on, Priscilla or Ann Margaret, what's up? <laughs> Actually, he, wow. he, he you want to do an Elvis show too? No, <laughs> no. In the chat, do you want us to do an Elvis Presley TV show? We'll do one. I'll, dude, I'll do anything. I mean, come on, man. I, I, I don't want to do that, man. <laughs> you could talk like that. It'd be great. You, you can, you can ask me questions, man. I, I'll answer them. All right. Don't ask me nothing about upstairs in Graceland, no, man. That's my private place. I still live there. Oh, my goodness. Broccoli Elvis. What? <laughs> what, is, what is that? Okay. I, I don't like broccoli, man. I like bananas and peanut butter. Yeah. And Kung Fu. Elvis show would be cool, Peggy. Cool. Hey, if you guys want to do it, I mean, it doesn't have to be a weekly thing. I mean, you guys know I love I love the Van Halen, so I do a weekly Van Halen show. But as far as like like a like a, a special episode of anything, you know, I mean, we can do anything. Sure, we can do an I, I, Elvis thing. I can we could do, do a one, a one episode show, man. That's all right. You know, you want to do a Randy Rhodes? You know, we can do a Randy Rhodes episode. We can do an Elvis. I mean, we could talk about anything. On we're the doing, we're doing a mean, Randy Thursday. I mean, music. I can't talk like Randy, so. Mm -hmm. I, I can talk like Ozzy. Oh, I love Randy. <laughs> Shed! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there she is. How, how, how you, you you got her on that thing? Oh, my Shed! gosh. <laughs> All right, well, let's get through this before my laptop totally crashes. And I told you we were only going to do an hour. We're like t 10 minutes till and, and we still have like three other stories to get to. Um, and plus your, your, your window might blow out in about half well, an hour. If it does, you know, if I just go away, because <laughs> God willed it. Oh my gosh. Well, Hey, there's the back of the, uh, the box set. Very cool. Look at this. 
Um, you know, Van Halen used to open for us on Sabbath. That's true. Tony didn't want to play after Eddie. Uh -oh. What the heck was that? That was an alarm. <laughs> Is a tornado at the door? I don't know. I'm trying to find out. That sounded like this. Hey, Todd, what's up, man? Todd is in the chat. Good to see you, dude. You guys, don't forget, smash that thumbs up. We got 30, we got 30 thumbs up, so you guys are awesome, man. That's right, man. There, put, put another uh, thumbs up, man. This is great. What, what, anybody like a burrito? Coots, what's up? Hey, good to see you, man. All right, so here's a complete guide to all Van Halen remasters. Again, this is Van Halen News Desk. Dave Lee Roth era remasters. The first six albums were remastered in 2015. The CDs were only ever, what? The CDs were only ever sold individually. The vinyl is sold individually and now packaged as the collection, as the collection, 1978, 1984, six LP box set. Here's the exclusive limited yeah. edition with the backstage patches. Okay, that's what we just looked at. Which, which one of those six albums do you think is the best one? The first Van Halen, Roth era. Out of the first six, which yeah, which one do you think is the best out of those six? Actually, I I, I have it right here. Come here. Right here, I have I have the I have a cassette. I have the, the cassette. This is the best Van Halen Roth era album ever released. Yeah, it's a double album, man. <laughs> It's got two. Two for two for one. Sub each side sucks, man. Each side is a complete album. Look at that. Now that that's actually kind of neat. Look at that, man. So that's you like don't have one to, of the, that's one of the hundred and twenty minute cassettes then, right? Hour you don't have side. to Yeah. Very cool. Maybe we'll give this away on the channel here. Who knows? Uh oh. And I just found a cassette player the other day that still works. Oh, no way. Yep. I still have that huge box of Van Halen uh, live cassettes that I need to go through. One of these episodes, we just need to do that. Maybe. I mean, it, it depends on the week. Because if there's, you know, if there's news, then you know, I like to report the news and talk about the news. But. But if it's a slow news day, maybe um, we'll keep that in mind. And Janice, if you could send out a, a tweet reminding us about that, that would be uh, that'd be cool. Yeah, I've got a huge box of, of Van Halen bootleg cassettes, stuff that's never been that's not on YouTube, and maybe just maybe we can play some of them on the show here, give you guys like a sample of some of the stuff. I do need to digitize a lot of the stuff. Janice is like, for what? Uh, send, send me an X at uh, Johnny Bean. Uh, say, uh, open the box of Van Halen bootleg cassettes. Okay. Coming this open, Thursday. Open the box. There you go. Yeah. Okay, you're going to have to prepare for that show. I will. Unlike this. <laughs> because I don't know my my Randy Rhodes history. I don't know any oh, of that. Okay. So you're going to have to you're going to have to um steer that one. Okay. All right. What's in the box? Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do like a, a what's in the box edition. Unboxing. And what's of, in the box unboxing of of Van Halen? Cassette. Of a bunch of Van Halen cassettes, yeah. Live cassettes. Right, Google ads? <laughs> All right, there we go. I have to play them, it tells me. And so instead of like having them automatically just like nonstop and have that guitar player 98 get mad and leave, even though he was a troll, <laughs> um, every once in a while I'll, I'll hit the button and play, play an ad. Was it Guitar Player 98 or Guitar Man 98? It was Guitar Player. 
guitar player. He was a guitar player in 98. Because everything he ever said on the channel and in the, in the comments were all negative. Everything he ever said. I saw it. I saw that. It wasn't good. And yeah, where is he? He's not here. Where, where'd he go? He went away. <laughs> he went away. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, we got that story. too, Dude, okay, let's let's get through this. We got tons of stuff to talk about. Sammy Hagar era remasters, the Van Halen Collection 5 CD box set still available. The Van Halen, uh, the Collection 2, 5 LP. Dude, look, it says permanently sold out. Holy crap, we have one of those. Where is it? I have one. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no wonder the stuff's heavy. I got, I got like, I got all this stuff here. No wonder I'm, I'm like using one hand. I'm like, oh. The guitar more oh. is gonna fall, gonna collapse one day. I know. Well, that that album. Yeah. Okay, so look at this. We got future giveaways on the channel here. You got the. Um, oh, how can I do this? You got this. Is the box set they're talking about? This is permanently sold out. Is what they're saying. I have one. Yes, we opened it. Actually, I bought like a, a couple of these. One we gave away already. So somebody already did win one of those. But we have uh, all the albums in here. There you go. And again, they're reprints. They're reprints of the albums. But it's the box set. Permanently sold out. But uh, we have one here to give away at some point. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And then a couple other things we got here. We got the uh, live live right here, right now. This is the limited edition uh, red vinyl. I want that one. We have this one. Actually, I think I have like three of these. Uh -oh. I think I have like two more sitting back uh -oh. there somewhere. So, so we'll be when giving you, these when, away. When you send a little guitar, throw one of those in it. <laughs> and look, they're, they're not cheap. Wow. They're not cheap. So we have one of these to give away at some point. And then this is pretty cool. This is unofficial. This is unofficial, but I I um I bought these from from somebody. They're they're collectibles. Did you buy it from Dave in the parking lot? Mm, no. <laughs> no, but this is the Van Halen Best of Volume 1 on vinyl. This does not exist. Like I said, this is this is a, uh, like, it's a collectible. It doesn't exist, but I bought this. I'm not selling this. I'm giving this away at some point on the channel here, but I bought this. Um, and it's, it's a, you know, it's just a, like a collectible. Never Irre opened. Irrelevant question. Which logo mm -hmm. do you like better, that one or the other one where, where it doesn't circle around? You mean wings or rings? Yeah. Ring wing. That, ring, that, that's, ring, ring. that's what they say. Rings or wings. Or wings or rings. So, <laughs> wings so, or rings. So which one you like better? Let's see. You got you got the you got the wings. And then you got the rings. Well, I got the eight one two rings there. Which do I like better? Uh, I mean, truthfully, I mean, some of you guys are going to hate me, of course, but my era is the Van Hagar era. So I'm going to go rings. Now, see, that that's what's weird with me. I'm the David Lee Roth era, but I like the rings better because that one just sound, looks oh! like <laughs> Bell Hall to me. Oh, no. You know. Put up your email address again. You're going to get some hate email tonight, it's man, epic. for saying that. It's there epic. it is. Oh, you know, no. that's, I've had that on there now for what a month, and I haven't received one email from anybody in here except for MPN and Kurt Rock. Yeah. Well, you said you're getting those text messages. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has nothing to do with that email. But they don't want you to know who they are, even though we yeah. know who you guys are. Trust me. Trying yeah. to stir the pot. <laughs> I get you, little pretties. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Sean! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, live right here, right now. Vinyl. Yep, we have it. I have it here. 
Now that Van Halen 3 and A Different Guy of Truth are both out of print. What? Wait a minute. What, what are they saying? Now that... Oh, note that. Van Halen 3 and A Different Guy of Truth are both out of print. Oh, just, just the... What? But they... Okay, Van Halen, uh, Different Kind of Truth is on vinyl. I have one. Uh, a friend of mine sent me one, personalized, from Edward. It's on my wall. It's right there. I'm, I'm always looking at it. Uh, Van Halen 3 vinyl. I don't think that ever existed, but it, it might have. It might have. I mean, a lot of the stuff wait a was... Minute. Wait a minute. Are they saying something about Van Halen that you don't know? I never thought this day would happen. I know. I am. I am. Wow. I don't I may, ha I may have to get some tissue. Oh well, <laughs> wait till after the show. <laughs> Which this isn't only fans. I meant for um, tears. <laughs> not smears. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Van Halen three on vinyl? Did that exist? It's possible it did as as an import. That is possible, although I I can't say for sure. Hey, if you guys drop a, a comment below on the on playback, if if you guys uh, if you guys know anything. Okay, there we go. We got through one story. It's only been an hour. <laughs> exactly. Look at that. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's let's take a look at the uh, comments, and then let's get to the next. Um, Sean is saying, "I won strap locks." Johnny was a man of his word and got them right out to me. He even paid postage to Canada. Dude, of course, of course I did. Hey, here's one wall of the studio coming. Very nice. Getting there. Very good. New carpet, everything. I got the uh, like the office carpet, so the so the chair will roll on it nice. So, yes, I know it's Bengal colors. I'm I couldn't find yellow, the color yellow I wanted for Steelers. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. So those those squares, do you just put them up randomly on the wall? Yeah. Well, how I did that, and no, wait a minute. Now you're going to think I'm I'm not. Most people do a checkerboard pattern, okay? Right, right. So I sat here on Microsoft uh, Excel and did the exact number of squares I would need, and I did about 30 renderings of black and orange, and I found out I liked that random look right there better. So I took a picture of what oh, I did. Oh, I see. I took Because it would drive you crazy if you had to stare at the wall. And it was all like, yeah. Oh, so, this, so you, you created this, that. Yeah. So this is what I did. I created that right there off. Actually, you can't really tell, but they are orange and black. That was from Microsoft Excel. And then once I, I did like 20 or 25 different versions till I found the one I like, which is this one. Then all I did was just copy it from that. Mm -hmm. to, uh, to that. So it's an exact, exact copy of what I printed out. Oh, cool. So and that, it's, it's, it's just random, yeah. basically. Now, most of that's going to, the whole bottom half of that's going to be covered by cabinet, 4 by 12 cabinets. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to see if I can hang guitars from the top. That light, mm -hmm. you see, it will be gone. But mm -hmm. then I started doing, uh, this is the other wall and part of the ceiling, the ceiling up there. So you see orange and black, and then I'm doing the ceiling too in black and orange. It'll have very few orange, but every like eight orange panels all together. Mm -hmm. So the the room's going to be very cubed, I guess you could say. Hmm. But with our bedroom right above it, I you know I want to do anything down there, uh, music wise. When my wife goes to bed, I don't want her hearing all the music coming through there floor so that's why mm -hmm. i decided to do the ceiling mm -hmm. i would do the floor if i could but you, know, you can't roll a chair on that <laughs> <laughs> i mean i i, I, I the, I, when, the other one i had 
I know. Get the 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 other one I had. I had I had purple and black before. Then I had burgundy and black. I was going to go with the blue and black, but I saw one in somebody's room, and it just gave me instant migraine. So I looked for a Steelers yellow, a goldish yellow. I wanted to do that with black. And the only yellow you could find is a real pale, ugly, almost pastel color yellow, which is ugly. So I just went with the orange mainly because my, my you know, my wife gets on me. Yeah, that's right, generally. My wife gets on me because the, the high school here was Tigers. And our colors were orange and black. She's all so now you got tiger room. I said, No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have that anymore. <laughs> I have twenty of them. If you want to put them all no, on the on no. the ceiling in your bedroom, <laughs> no. <laughs> twenty Dave Lee Roths chained up. No, my locker dad would show up. <laughs> oh no. He didn't want me to marry her anyhow. I, mean, I had long hair, wore leather pants, drove a Harley. And I pulled up in front of the house to pick her up one day, and he about had a heart attack. Oh, man. And then the more he was telling her she, that she didn't want her to date me, the more she wanted to date me. So. What? What do you bet he has a jumpsuit of them, too? <laughs> huh? I don't know what you're talking about there, Ryan. <laughs> a jumpsuit? Oh, of those, of those, of those, uh, those things? <laughs> <laughs> need to get a velcro suit so i can just run against the wall and stick to it oh dude that's that's a sport you know climbing the walls and stuff they have those they have those out here rock climbing that's what it is brock broccoli ron broccoli ron what is what is that do, I have no do idea. you like broccoli i do like broccoli yes broccoli's good I like broccoli. Okay, let's see. All right, we have a we have a couple few more stories we need to try to get to here. We'll get to what we can. Let's see. Here, let's let's do this. This this is brand new. Share screen. Okay. All right. Back to Van Halen News Desk. Valerie and Edward were in a wonderful place at the end of his life. There's a really nice photo there. Valerie and Edward in 1993. You guys want some some uh, some trivia? Well, in the chat. In the chat. Where where was this photo taken? I can tell you. You can tell me. Okay. I can tell you. You want me to tell you? Yes. That was on a set of her new show with Matthew Perry. <laughs> uh, mm, almost. And, and the, oh, that's the episode Eddie was playing in. The, it was it the very first one. You're, cl you're, you're actually mixing up two shows. Okay. The Matthew Perry show was a show called Sydney. Which is from okay. 1990. Okay. And the theme song to the show was Finish What You Started. Okay? It was on CBS. This show, does anybody in the chat know what this show was called? This was another show. Obviously in 1993. Thunder is cracking out there right now. Oh, no. They said 9.30. Here it is, 9.12. Oh man! It's like Pip predicting the weather in Back to the Future. The rain will stop in six minutes. <laughs> yeah, dude. Speaking of that, speaking of that man, really quickly, let's let's um let's say uh, rest in peace, uh, Joe Flaherty. Do you guys know Joe Flaherty? Sean's always talking about SCTV. He thinks I'm from SCTV. Joe Flaherty. <laughs> you guys remember him from SCTV? Yep. He pa he passed away. Wow. He he just passed away, and you had I mentioned. Uh, I think 81. I'd say he had to be close to 80. I think. You'd mentioned Back to the Future. 
Yep. Back to the Future 2, when Marty goes back to the 50s, or one of those parts, or maybe it's the third one, I don't know. <laughs> Joe Flaherty is, is in the movie. What do you play? What oh, he's at, he's at the end of Back to the Future 2. The very end of Back to the Future 2, when Marty goes back to 1985. The different 1985? No, when he gets back to 1985 okay. to, to home and Back to the Future 2. He 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 uh he crashes the DeLorean and then there's a there's a guy in a trench coat and a hat. It's raining. And he's like, Are you Marty McFly? McFly? And oh, Marty's that's like, right. yeah. yeah. That's okay. Joe Flaherty. Yeah, that's right. That's Joe Flaherty. And of course he played Count from Floyd Western Union. SCTV. He was the Western Union guy. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome dude, man. Here, let's 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 show some of that. Joe Flaherty. You guys all know. According to Wikipedia, well, there we go. Joseph Flaherty was an American actor, writer, and comedian. There you go. So, yeah, there, there he is right there. Yep. Yeah. So he passed away yesterday. Wow. Now, wait a minute. I have to ask. It was April 1st. Back to the future. Okay. <laughs> so is that real or was that a joke for yesterday? Which? That he died on April 1st. No, it's all over the news. Okay. Then okay. the news came out today. Okay. It came out today. No. Um, that's one of the things I hate about April Fool's is you just, you get all this stuff. Only mm. one thing I saw online tricked me. <laughs> Only one thing I saw one thing that somebody posted. I'm not gonna say what it is, but you know how how a lot of companies say, "Hey, we got the brand new something," and you're like, "What? Why would you do that?" Oh, it's April first. You know, <laughs> there was only one person that posted something. Oh, here's the Back to the Future scene right here. Good day. Eh? Yep. That one. Remember. He goes up. He's like, are you Marty McFly? There he is. We, we have a bet you wouldn't be here. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we've had this letter sitting here for, for 80, uh, years. 80 years. For 80 years. Is that wow. really you? You know? Thunder and lightning now, just like in the picture, like this picture. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope, I hope I don't get struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, the actual um, time machine in the chat. Let's get the chat going, you guys. You guys, in Back to the Future, and hey, Back to the Future, it's Van Halen related. I mean, Back to the Future is what got me into Van Halen because the Eddie Van Halen guitar stuff in the movie. What was the original time machine supposed to be in Back to the Future? It wasn't going to be the DeLorean. It was supposed to be something else. I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's see if the chat, let's see if somebody in the chat can get this. Except Nightbot. Nightbot, if you could answer these questions, that'd be great, actually. But again. A, I'll give people a hint. <clears throat> a cup. A hot tub? No, mm. not hot tub. Time machine. Although that movie was great. That's a different movie. We don't have, we don't have Google. We got Lugal. I've never seen that. I've actually never seen that. I wanted to see that. I never did, though. There we go. Kentucky got it. Got it. A fridge. Mm -hmm. And what it meant is where you keep your cold drinks. So back to the future, the original time machine was supposed to be a, a refrigerator, but then they decided against it because they knew kids would start reenacting the movie and they'd be getting in, trapped in fridges and that can't be good. So instead there was a, a, a rash of DeLorean thefts and people run around with food processors trying to stick them on the back. <laughs> I fly a DeLorean and GTA 5 on Twitch every night. Right? Janice. Um, <clears throat> anyway, what were we saying? We, we just said a lot of stuff in like five minutes. <laughs> we just said a lot of different things. Back to the future. Uh, I was going to say something else, but I don't know. Janice is right. 
All right, so let's go back to this. Okay, yeah. So yeah, Joe Flaherty. How do we even get to that? Talking about the uh, different shows. The different the different shows. Okay. Okay. I forget. Anyway, does anybody in the chat know what the show was called? Valerie Bertinelli starred on a show on NBC in 1993 it was on from it it wasn't on very long 93 to i think it was just on in 93 for a little bit was it like eight episodes i don't know i'm sure we could google it i definitely saw this episode and i'll tell you guys exactly i remember exactly watching this okay so anyway it was a show it was a show called cafe american Ran on NBC, 1993, and there was one episode where it started with a, uh, basically a, um, I think he played like a homeless guy playing a guitar in the cafe, and Valerie had to kick him out. And he plays, and he he has his back, it's almost like he's tapping, he has his back to the audience as he's playing, an acoustic. And then she's like, who do you think you are? And he turns around and he says something in Dutch. He says something, and that's when the whole audience is like, oh, my gosh, you know. And then she drags him out by his ear. And that's that's how the show started. I can't tell you about the rest of the episode. I don't remember. Just the beginning. (laughs) The beginning, I remember. But anyway, so this photo here, they were doing press for the show. And I have this on a VHS tape. Actually, I have this digitized on on a CD somewhere which i don't have cds anymore actually i have the the file of this somewhere on the laptop it's going to crash one day and never reboot most likely yeah (laughs) most likely but anyway uh entertainment tonight did a really awesome long segment on this on the show and talking about valerie and edward and it was really cool and again i have it Maybe I'll upload it to my uh, uh, Instagram, EVH Gear Live, EVH Gear Live on Instagram. Maybe I'll uh, actually. I probably did upload it to that like ten years ago. If you scroll back on my Instagram, you might actually see this. But that's so, ten years ago, and I post so, every day. So, so what was the real reason they got divorced? Um. I, well, let's read the article. It actually says. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Here we go. Valerie Bertinelli says she and Edward Van Halen were in a wonderful place at the end of his life. Let's see. Uh, Bertinelli's comments came from a new interview with USA Today. I saw some of this over on X earlier today. And I, th- I think she's on the cover of People this week. People? I think. People. <laughs> um, I'll try to find a couple of those and we'll do some giveaways for some of those too. Uh, USA Today below is an, ex- an excerpt from an article written by Kim Willis. Okay, I don't know what's going on down there, but here. And one of the cookbooks intimate essays okay so she has a new cookbook coming out or it's out and actually she's going to be here she's going to be in san francisco and i i actually i was thinking about going and just meeting her is music therapy laz watching laz if you see this do you want to go and meet valerie bertinelli because i was thinking about going it's just a quick uh, meet and greet is what it is it's not like a book reading it's, it's like a signing I was thinking of going. Uh, Let's see. Anyway, she has a new book. And in one of the cookbook's intimate essays, Bertinelli writes that uh, though we got divorced, Ed and I never stopped loving each other. Who knows? If not for cancer, we might have had a second wind. But I'm pretty sure that is wishful thinking. So she clarifies to USA Today... That uh, wistful is a very different uh, world than word than wishful. 
it was a wistful fantasy that I knew would never be true. Uh, continues on the love that Ed and I shared. And we did come to a very wonderful place at the end of his life. Uh, was our unconditional was our unconditional love for our son. My son was losing his father, and I was in a relationship that was terribly wrong for me. And I was holding on to some sort of lifeline because of the years I had with, with Ed. They got married in 1981. And I think, I think they got divorced in, I think, 2002. Something, something like, I think. Let's see. Um, where were we? Uh, I was madly in love with him when I met him. But our love changed. He felt like a big brother to me that I just wanted the best for by the time he got very sick. All I wanted to do was make it okay for Ed, make it okay for Wolfie. You fantasize and romanticize what you really, what you know really could never be. Okay, so that's that's uh, an excerpt from the uh, from her book. And I mean, it's 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 really nice to to hear that that they were in a good place um towards the end cuz you know i mean especially with 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 Valerie and Edward the, in the 80s they were they were they were they were, they were followed nonstop by those those magazines you know pa uh, paparazzi the pop well yeah i guess it turned well it turned into paparazzi later on but it was it, you know the, the, what were those magazines? The, the, the Sun, National Enquirer, you know, all these magazines. And trust me, I had a bunch of them because I was a huge collector in the, in the late 80s, 90s. So I did own a lot of those just if they were in them. And, of course, the stories were always made up. Yep. It wasn't real. You know, they actually said in an interview one time that uh, they were on the cover of one of those. And, and they apparently they were fighting in some in some restaurant and they had never even been to that restaurant. Tabloids. Thank you, Sky Prop. Tabloids. That's, that's when they had a bunch of pictures of stars on a wall, and next to it, a bunch of made up headlines. And they'd throw a dart and hit that star, and then it was hit this headline, no matter what it was. Mm. Yeah. I mean, people like reading that stuff, you know? I mean, back then, I mean, now, you don't really need that stuff now because, you know, you have the internet and you have Facebook where you can read anything, you know? The internet, what's really true? Anybody can make up anything. But but anyway, so they, they were hounded just nonstop by those magazines in the in the eighties. Inquirer, all that stuff. So you know, definitely I mean they they were like one of the one of the number one couples as far as, as any of that the, stuff. The it couple. Yeah. As far as the, the, the inquirer about about marriages busting up and all that, they were like one of the top ones back then. You know, because she was on TV. You know, she was on TV. She was in, you know, TV movies. He, of course, Eddie Van Halen. I mean, the, you know, one of the biggest bands ever. So they were always in the in those tabloids, and it, it's just um, it's it's it, it must it must have been it had to have been had to have been tough. So it's it's just good to read, you know, from Valerie here, that that they were in a good place, you know, before before he passed away, and then um, I guess she she. She, uh, they, they both remarried. Um, and then, uh, I guess, I guess from what, what, uh, I mean, I, I don't, 
from what I what I saw, I guess, I guess she she's dating somebody else now. I guess. She's I what, think it's 60, in people. She's six, six, sixty-two now or sixty-three. I'm not sure. Computer, how old is Valerie Bertinelli? Sixty-two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was like twenty-one when they got married. She was the cute one on one day at a time. Compared to Bonnie Franklin. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> whatever the hell her sister's name was. Mackenzie Phillips? Yeah. But a lot of people don't know that's the daughter of the mamas and the papas, singer, two singers. You know that? Uh, there was Mama Cass and then the Phillips. Yeah, so her and the, the lead singer for the Mamas and the Papas got married, and Mackenzie Phillips was their daughter. Of uh, Mama Cass? No, 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 the other one. Oh, Phillips. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I know because there was there it's, was Wilson yeah, Phillips. Yeah, no, that's that's no, that's that's the Beach Boys family there. Was it? it, it if you look at if you if you look at the uh, we'll do a show the, on it we'll figure it out look, look at the look up on google the video for california dream papa john phillips guy prophesied yeah. okay yeah he and the blonde michelle phillips got married and mackenzie was <clears throat> their daughter which michelle phillips, michelle also ended up on dynasty i think she was an actor on dynasty Mm hmm. So, yeah, but if you watch the California, the original California Dreamin' when they run the show, uh, Papa John's got like the uh, Russian fur hat on. Mm hmm. So, yeah. Michelle, yeah. Michelle yeah. Phillips, Michael B. is sad. Yep. So John Mackenzie was their, their daughter. Oh, okay. Okay. It's funny because I, I've been, uh, I watch on, on YouTube and on Twitch. We should talk about this later, actually. I probably told you this. I've been watching nothing but Carol Burnett yep. episodes. And I keep seeing the same episodes over, because I jump between YouTube and Twitch where they run them 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. So I keep seeing the same episodes like a bunch of times. They run them on Plut Pluto 24 hours a day, too. And on Pluto? She's got her own, the Carol Burnett channel. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so I keep seeing the same episodes and there's some, there's some ones that are so funny, but anyway, there's a, there, a couple times I've seen an episode with mama Cass mm -hmm. and she's on there and she does some skits with them and then she sings. She, she had, she, a, does she some, had a great voice. Mm -hmm. Dream when the, her version of dream, a little dream is like an angel singing. Mm-hmm. Cool. But John Phillips always said that the harmony between Michelle and Mama Cass wasn't right, and something happened to her. She was in an accident and hit her head. Something hit her head. He said, and after that, her harmony work was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I think she felt maybe she fell in a pool or out of a pool or something. Something, something happened to her. And she got a head injury. He said, after that, her voice changed. It was perfect for the band. Hmm. Now, her daughter, I think, her well, she's got a daughter who has no idea who her father is because Mama Cass never told her. And uh, But she looks like her mom. Hmm. Let's see. We'll do a show. We'll do, we'll do we'll do a I love I love the mamas and the papas. We'll do another we'll do a bunch of, we'll do a bunch of different episodes. Okay, we have a couple more stories. Yeah, we got two more stories to get to here, you guys. Let's do this, and don't forget we have a giveaway. We'll do some vinyl. Uh, but you guys you guys will choose. Do you want Van Halen's Pretty Woman? Do you want Van Halen's uh, I'll Wait that has the record falling out of the bottom? Uh, or Van Halen's uh, Love Walks In. Love Walks In. Love Walks In. 
Oh, Janice, no, they didn't. Don't. That makes me sick. Tornado watch issued at 9.29 p.m. for Shadyside. Good. Well. <laughs> okay, let's read this. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> <laughs> Before I go before, away. <laughs> before his house blows away. Okay, let's let's read this. Back oh. to Ben Hill News Desk. There we go. Billy Sheehan says uh, that the uh, band had limited stage access on the Dave Lee Roth skyscraper tour. Who saw that tour? I didn't. I saw the Eat Him and Smile tour. Billy Sheehan says that there was a line you couldn't cross with Dave Lee Roth, and that line was made of duct tape. Hmm. Below is an article on Sheehan's comments regarding Roth's 1988 skyscraper tour. It was contributed to the Van Halen News Desk by Ultimate Guitar's Greg Prato. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Yeah, let's, let's do this. One of Rock's great what ifs will forever be. What if Dave Lee Roth's Edom, Edom and Smile Band remained together longer than longer and continued in the style of that album? Hmm. It appeared that somehow Roth had managed to match the firepower of his previous band, Van Halen, uh, with. <laughs> Van Halen. There we go. Every time I say Van Halen, I should use this. Uh, uh, <laughs> with an uh, ex exponentially uh, talented solo band, which included. Wait, I can actually play IDs from all these. Wait. <laughs> if I can find them all. That's the cool thing about talking about this band is I have all the. Okay, there's that one, that one, and where's the last one? I'll never find it. Steve Vai. That one. There we go. All right. All right. Uh, he had managed, uh, included a, a, a talented solo band, which included Steve Vai on guitar. Johnny. Huh? Hey, Johnny. I'm over here. What? Oh. Where? Where are I'm you? Over here. Over here, Johnny. Huh? Hey, Johnny, oh. how you doing? This is Steve. Steve Vai. Which, by the way, it looks like he's going out on a new tour. At first, I thought it was... I th See, that's the problem with April Fool's. Is they <laughs> announced stuff on April Fool's. There was an April Fool's thing saying that uh, uh, Foo Fighters were going to reunite Nirvana. And... and uh, That'd be hard uh, to do. And, and uh, what's her name? Francis Bean, no relation to me, although I wish, um, was going to sing. It was going to be Dave Grohl, Pat Smear, and and uh, uh, Chris, uh, whatever his name is, Nirvana. Now we just got a flash flood warning. With Francis, uh-oh, with Francis Bean on vocals. And there are people in the comments thinking, oh, whoa, I can't believe this. Wow. And then, of course, it's, it's oh, it's April Fool's. You know, <laughs> that's the thing. That's why I don't like April Fool's is, like I said, there was one thing that one person posted. And I thought, whoa, that's cool. Great for them. And then it turned out, I guess it was a joke. But still good. Well, someone's at my door. <laughs> Who can it can be you read now? this? Can you read that? I'll Read that. I'll be right back. Yeah. It appeared somehow that Roth had managed to match the firepower of his previous band, which we already went through all that, with Greg and, of course, Roth providing vocals for and frontman charisma. And I will still say David Lee Roth may not have been the best singer in the world, but he was the best frontman slash showman and set the bar for a bunch of other uh, bands. And for those of you who may have forgotten and recently explained more in depth and via an earlier article, the group's next album, Skyscraper, rubbed Sheehan the wrong way due to its more electric pop dance direction. And before the tour, in support of the album could launch, the bassist had jumped ship. 
and soon after reappeared as co-founding member of Mr. Big. Whoa. Oh, wait, I was going to play those. I totally forgot. Yeah. Okay. By the way, look who was at the door. Look who, look who was at the door. The Nedster. Oh, look at this. How do you knock on the door? Here's his head. Could you hear that? It was him. Yeah, his head Ned. I mean, he's he's actually learned how to open the door. I mean, he can push on it. There he is. You guys smash that thumbs up for Ned if you haven't. There he is. <laughs> oh, he winked at me. Okay. <laughs> All right, there you go. There you go. Okay. All right, let's continue reading. Oh, I know you just you just read some of it. Let's see. Where was it? Uh Steve Vai on guitar, Billy Sheehan on bass. Hey, this is Billy Sheehan. You're watching Johnny Bean TV. Okay, ready? Ready. Hola, amigos. This is your bass player, Billy Ned, Sheehan. You're back. watching me right here on my dear friend. John, uh, I, you, you, it went away. Oh, I no. Uh, uh. Johnny, <laughs> I can, I can, we, we do radio IDs all the time, but if it's not written down, even if the guy is standing right there, it's a, it's a weird mental problem. You said we're dear friends, Johnny, but then you couldn't remember my name. Dear friend, uh, what's it? Uh, who is that? <laughs> No, it's a weird thing. Uh, whenever we do radio IDs or TV things, <laughs> if it's not written down, you're, you're lost. It's hilarious. But Johnny B, come on, here we go. Let's do, take two. I'll get it this time, I swear to God. All right. Ready. All right. Hola, amigos. This is Billy Sheehan, your bass player, here with my dear friend, Johnny Bean. I never forget this guy. He's been so wonderful to me. <laughs> Let me do take three. Sorry. Billy Sheehan. So you got Steve Vai on guitar, Billy Sheehan on bass, and then Greg, Greg Bissonette. Greg Bissonette on drums. Hey, it's Greg Bissonette. You're watching Johnny Bean TV. Who they mic, yeah. but never ran through the PA. <laughs> there you go. Let's see. Uh, and of course, Roth providing vocals and frontman charisma. Okay, so I think you read some of this, but I haven't. I haven't read it. Uh, yeah, I haven't read, read it. I even read the next one. For those who may have forgotten, and as recently explained in more depth uh, via an earlier article, the group's uh, next album, Skyscraper, rubs she in the wrong way due to its uh, more electro pop dance direction. And before the tour, wait, that was more knocking on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you keep reading. I'll be right back. I already read this. <laughs> During an interview with Ryan Roxy, Sheehan was asked if the rumor that there was a duct tape line on Ross stage that other members could not cross was true or false. He opted to clarify it once and for all as transcribed by Ultimate Guitar. And I can't read any farther because we don't go down. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there's the there's the uh, there's the video right there, and then there we go. Not on Eat Him and Smile. Not on Eat Him and Smile. Not on my tour. He then added, "It did exist later. It did exist on the skyscraper tour. One of the reasons I wasn't there." Roxy then explained uh, how supposedly other members were not allowed to cross the line at any time before Sheehan added the following. That was what I heard. On Edom's Smile, Steve and I were running across the stage like maniacs from top to bottom all over the place. And you said you saw that tour. Yep. They were everywhere. And, and you all, remember? All of them were. He, when Greg did his solo, he was standing on the bass drums backwards. <laughs> yeah, saw that tour. That was a great tour. You that saw was a great that. album. Oh yeah. Let's see. Um, now I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there were no restrictions at all, like on Eat 'Em and Smile. Nothing. It was a real band and a real show. And then the skyscraper thing was—I don't know. I've heard from Roxy. Uh, retorted. Uh, 
You've heard, but has anyone ever seen the duct tape? Sheehan ended the topic's discussion with what seems like a, a definitive uh, com confirmation. It was there. As a matter of fact, one particular band member stepped over it one night and got in all kinds of trouble for it. Dang. Dave being Dave. Dave Lee Roth, just like Paradise. Re edit 1988. There you go. But you didn't want to get kicked by him when he was doing his roundhouse kicks. No. Ew, look at those toes. Gross. Okay. <laughs> smash the thumbs up. I just thought that was a fans only thing. If you like Wrong toes, thing. smash that thumbs up. <laughs> Gross. What was that? Oh, it's for, for doing the What? I don't know what's going on. They're using toothbrushes on their Oh, does that, that well yeah but the sad part is when they brush their teeth after they're done <laughs> gross <laughs> gross okay last one let's talk about this and then we'll do what are we doing on time oh sure the five well yeah perfect it's all good. Don't forget, you guys, we're doing a giveaway in a little bit. So make sure you uh, you hang out with us. Actually, let's let's go ahead and, and, and do the giveaway while we reread the next uh, story. All right. What should the top number be? I, I put 3,000. What do you think? Hmm, for a record or the mag... Or you can go six thousand and give away both. The record and or oh the mag oh the magazine yeah the magazine and a record Zach. six thousand okay go, we can do that yeah go three thousand for just one or six thousand if you can win both of them. All right, we'll do that. We'll do six thousand. All right, so whoever wins, you wait, get to wait, choose. Wait, 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 wait. Six thousand and nine. Six thousand and nine. Six okay. zero zero nine. Okay. All right, so here's what's up for grabs. You can whoever wins gets to choose. You get Van Halen's "Love Walks In," or you get Van Halen's "Pretty Woman," or you get Van Halen "I'll Wait." So you'll get one of those and the Guitar World. Brand new uh, class of 1984 magazine. There you go, people. Okay. So the way the giveaways work is you want to enter numbers in the chat. You want to guess a number between zero and 6,009. <laughs> Jimmy Z. Yeah. Carol Burnett shows hilarious. Harvey Corman. Yeah. I like Tim Conway <laughs> when he was on. I, I, I had no idea that he was a guest. He wasn't a regular on there. Mrs. Wiggins. <laughs> I had no idea that he was a, a guest star. Yeah. Okay. You guys ready? You guys ready? Between zero and 6,009. Let me make sure I got everything right here. Random. Number. Okay. Roll it. All right. We got it. The giveaway has started. To win, enter a number between zero and 6,009. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to be on YouTube to do this. This doesn't work on Facebook. It doesn't work on Twitch. Come on over to the YouTube side, you guys. Come, come to YouTube now. Come, come to YouTube. And then we'll read this last story. And we'll see if we have a winner by then. Okay. All right, Joe Satriani continues to unravel the mystery of Edward Van Halen's technique. There's a cool photo of Joe right there. Wait a minute, I have a video with him too. Joe, cool. Where is it? He looks like the bald shredder. You mean that guy on YouTube? Yeah. 
in that photo, I've been, you know. I've been watching that guy. I've been watching his videos. Let's see. All right. With the upcoming Sammy Hagar Best of All Worlds Tour, we'll be there. Less than four months away. Wow. Joe Satriani says he's still working hard to capture the unique guitar style of Edward Van Halen, a task he admits is quite daunting. Below is an ex excerpt. What? Oh, I just saw the chat moving. Below is an excerpt from Satriani's recent interview with Classic Rock's Gary Graff. Joe Satriani is in the midst of a tour with longtime friend and former guitar student Steve Vai, with whom he just released uh, their first single together, The Sea of Emotion Part One. I saw some of that. Did you see that video? Mm -mm. They're no, like dressed, I, I, I they're was dressed up like it's 70s. Oh, are they? Cool. Yeah, they're wearing wigs and stuff like it's the 1970s. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool. But when they're not on stage, the two players are bu are busying themselves preparing for their next gigs. Okay, so that is true. Okay, Vi is doing a tour with Adrian Blue, who I actually saw at the bar at the Nam at Nam one year. He was ordering something at the bar at the, at the Hilton. I'm like, that's Adrian Blue. I probably should have said hi to him, but I didn't. Uh, King Crimson's saluting beat and Satriani deep diving into Van Halen's territory. See, that's, that's one of the reasons, one of the things I was saying about, about, uh, April Fool's. I saw that thing about Vi being on that tour and I'm like, is that real? I wasn't <laughs> sure because it was, it was, it, I guess it was announced today. I don't know. Uh... Uh, Satriani deep diving into Van Halen territory with Sammy Hagar's The Best of All Worlds Tour in North America, which gets underway July 13th in West Palm Beach, Florida. Satriani says, my task right now is to is trying to un unravel the mystery of Eddie Van Halen's strange guitar plan. Satriani sells classic rock. I spent decades avoiding how to learn his this stuff so I wouldn't copy it. And now all of a sudden I'm, <laughs> I'm doing a crash course. On the, on the idiosyncrasies and the genius of his guitar work. I, I know these songs, but I've never actually played them. It's a task. <laughs> the Hagar crew, which also includes uh, <clears throat> Jason Bonham on drums and drums and drums, should be say on drums, and original Van Halen uh, bassist Michael Anthony. Also part of Chicken Foot with Satriani and Hagar. See, that's what's cool about them doing this stuff. Is it, It's almost like Chicken Foot. They were cool, man. They put out a couple records. I saw them live. They were great. Uh, they'll be playing 28 dates during the tour. Full dates below. Uh, surveying all of Hagar's career, but uh, with a particular emphasis on Van Halen. Both the Hagar and the Dave Lee Roth years. The song list is coming together, but Satriani notes that I was so happy when Sammy said he wanted to do the Seventh Seal. Yeah, Dakota, are you watching? They're going to play the Seventh Seal. That's like Dakota's favorite song ever. Off the Balance album. <clears throat> uh, Satriani says, which, which I thought was a great uh, progressive Eddie Van Halen song. So different from Ain't Talking About Love and Panama. Although when you play Panama live with the band, it's so exciting. I can't think of a Van Halen song that doesn't put a smile on my face. It's just a question of figuring out how to play them. What I can guarantee is they're going to see someone who's hell bent on being the most respectful guitar player to the legacy of Eddie and his playing. I'm busy creating workarounds i have every intention of nailing everything and when i can't i'll wink to the audience and they're gonna know that one's just gonna slip by <laughs> that's cool man i like satriani man i mean he, he really is a cool dude 
And I mean, he's he's Joe Satriani. I mean, he is a, a, a name. He is. I mean, he is who he is. I never got into surfing with the alien. Just I had it. Something about that. I didn't like it. I had it. I had that one. I had the one after that, uh, which I can't think of the name of. The store I used to work at was actually thanked in that in that album because Satriani used to go there. And at the shop, uh, we actually had one of those plaques on the wall, one of those CD oh, okay. yep. sales plaques for the mm -hmm. Satriani album. And it said present, presented to Fat Dog, which is the owner of the, of the shop. When I talked to Satriani uh, back in 2011 or 2012, we talked about that. I mean, what I play you here is just like a, this right here. This is just like uh, 18 seconds of that. Oh, hi. I see somebody. Hey, this is Johnny. Can you hear me? Johnny. Hey. Hey, good, hey good man. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Cool. Yeah. See, that's just 18 seconds. There, there's, there's like... There's at least a few more minutes of that where we're, we're talking about the shop I used to work at. Do you I like, uh, hairs on me. <laughs> you like Steve Stevens? Sure. Have you heard his new song with Billy Morrison and Ozzy mm -mm. called crack cocaine? Mm -mm. When I first heard it without knowing who did it, I mean, obviously, you know, Ozzy's singing it, you could tell, but it sounded like Zach Wilde playing guitar. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised to find out it was it was Steve Stevens. Mm -hmm. That's cool. It's actually a pretty good song too. And they cool. do a video, but in the whole video, Ozzy's sitting during the whole video. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to check it out. Is Janice here? Janice, can you send me an X reminding me to check? The, what's the song called? Crack Cocaine by Ozzy. Billy Morrison and Steve Stevens. Cool. That's cool. I'm going to have to check that out. Okay. All right. So that's that's it for the, for the news for now. I'll give you guys a hint. Okay. It's four digits. Oh, dude. Okay. It's four digits. Three of the digits digits go in order. <laughs> so there are three numbers that are like one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Okay? So now you know. Well, actually, you don't know. You don't know what they are. But if you can guess them. Okay? Wait, you just got it. T T Fetch just got it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yep, that was it. One six seven eight. Was it my hint that gave it to you, man? <laughs> or did you just guess? If I hadn't have said, if I was on mute, would you would you still have just gotten that? Me and my hints. Anyway, congratulations, dude. You got it. You ought, it was one, be like, six, seven, eight. You ought to be in like uh, National Treasure. I should be. Decipher Janice, the codes and stuff. Janice, can you send me a tweet reminding me I should be doing that? <laughs> you, dude. Okay, you got it. So you get uh, you get a choice. You're gonna get the magazine. But which which vinyl do you want? T fetch. T fetch. Are you even here? Yeah. Because he put the number in, but he hasn't said anything since. T fetch. Which 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 vinyl do you want? Love walks in. Pretty woman. Or I'll wait. I'm here. You texted. Oh, you texted. Oh, okay. Oh, that's you. Hint? 
Oh, my hint helps. <laughs> well, hey, at least, you know. Well, it was a year, 1678. I'm glad to help. Yeah, it was. That was a year. Mexican a brides. Year. <laughs> oh, God. No, it's Mexican bribes. Click on that link. You can see me in the newspaper. Although it's not this one. It's another one. You guys, I was in the paper with there. Wearing if you click on shirt. that, you can you can see another another time I was in the newspaper. That link. That's when my band was on tour. The SF Weekly did a story on us. Yeah, Mexican bribes, not Mexican brides. <laughs> I I sent you the link in uh, Messenger also for that Aussie. Got it. Got it. Thank you, man. It's actually, it's surprisingly extremely well. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I'll, uh, we can talk about it Friday. Okay. Which one do you want? You can either say in the chat here or text me. Oh yeah. Decisions. Oh, surprise you. Okay. Ooh, there you go. Okay. Let Ned pick one. Yeah. Put all four of them down, save them down, whichever one he steps on first. That's what you get. Yeah. Cool. There you go. We'll surprise you, man. Again, congratulations, man. Uh, you texted me. Actually, I need to put your... Um... Where's the giveaway thing? Giveaway winners... You're still trying to pick an amplifier? Crack cocaine song, Johnny Bean. <laughs> Chattis. <laughs> T. Fetch, Guitar World Magazine, and Van Halen 45. Trying to pick an amp. Go Ingle. Go over to Ron's house and pick one of those. <laughs> he has two of them sitting there. When I move these MPNs at home going, <laughs> I move these over to the other room. I may, I may, I may bring out the other Mesa cab and with the dual rectifier. Cool. <laughs> MPNs like, yes. <laughs> Oh, he's laughing. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> you can give my yeah. guitar away. You got to give away that amplifier. <laughs> okay. What's hey, up? now. Dude, what's up, man? What's up? Good to see you, man. Dude. Hope all is well, man. Steven. Dude. You remember him? Yeah. He was on the yep. show here. We did all yep. the Jason Becker stuff. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. I guess we're done. Look at that. We're done. <laughs> we're at two hours. We did it. This wasn't so horrible, you guys. We did it. Ron's power is still on. Yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, at least out here. All right, thank you, channel members. Thank you so much for your continued support for this channel. You guys are awesome. We will see you um, Thursday. On the next one, Thursday. Okay, we'll see you Thursday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And again, if you're a channel member, you get bonus content. That's a reproduction of the Crazy Train video. There you go. Actually, it's this way. You're going away from the camera. There it is. I'll cool. do that with this one. I ain't doing it with the real one. <laughs> cool. Cool. All right, you guys. Smash that thumb. How many thumbs ups do we have? 39 33 or 42 i see 42 oh. all of a sudden 42 
Can we get 45? My real age. That's actually not funny. 44. 44, my real age. All right. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Be good, everybody. See you in a couple days. Yes. Yeah, whoever just texted me. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes, Skype Rock. Yes. All right. And refresh your browsers. Let's get to 300 views. All right. Goodbye. And then I'll give you mine, so come back around this way. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Mike. 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 Hi. How you doing? I'm Johnny Bean. I met you last year. I talked to you on Google+. Oh. Yes. Uh, I remember you. Yeah. yeah. Like, All right. Let's uh, go. One, two, three. Let's yeah. Go. Right. <laughs> right. He was at a Google+ Hangout. I'm Johnny Bean. Come on. I